And welcome back to uh, the field at Lalasha Park. Joining us on the field, Lowell Spinner, hitting coach, that is George Lombard. And George, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Pleasure to have you aboard. And uh, I guess the, the first thing I'll ask, just a general overview of this team. And I realize wins and losses, we've struggled. But as you look at the players, you look at the skills they bring, do you like the kids we've got on this ball club? we got a great group of kids. The first, the first thing that jumps out at you is we're, we're young. And uh, you can't teach experience. Uh, but good group of kids. We're, we're starting to play better. Um, you know, taking a bunch of 19, 20 year olds, competing with some 20, 23 year olds makes a big difference. And, and I, you know, I notice we look at them now as opposed, and I, I think of Brandon Jacobs, a kid, that you almost see him growing and developing and changing with each at bat. Yeah, you know, uh, you know, we're trying to get every kid here to the big leagues. You know, it, uh, realistically, it won't happen, but, you know, we want to give this, everyone the same amount of attention. Uh, let them go out there and develop. You know, they need, they need to become better players, learn to play the game. Uh, learn to have quality at bats, become better defensive players. So it's a challenge. For you as the hitting coach, when you see a kid, do you begin at that point to work with them, adjust, or do you wait for them to come and say, hey, I need some help. I'm having difficulty doing this or that. Well, e every one of these kids got here for a reason. So we don't want to take that away from them at all. So we're going to let them go out and do their thing. They're going to spend at least 100 bats where we're just going to be positive with them, uh, be there for them get as much work as we can uh, before we make any kind of adjustments. Do you think back, and you were uh, the high choice of the Atlanta Braves, do you think back to when you were this age, when you were just getting introduced to professional baseball, do you remember for you what a, what a struggle it might have been? Oh, there, I mean, I don't think there's a better story than what I had to go through. I hit a, a buck 40 my first year, uh, you know, 200. Uh, there's either two ways you can go in this game. You're either going up or you're going down. So uh, a lot of hard work. Uh, that's what we just preach time and time again with these guys. Come out, be ready to work. You know, the results will come. Just trust us, you know. So, um, you know, it's it's a little bit of coming full circle. You know, that I started off at the lowest level and, and just worked my way up. Now, for you, as I say, a high round choice of the Atlanta Braves, was the pressure on you? Is the pressure on a, on a kid like Vidic, uh, or Renfro, or some of these guys that were, were pretty high choices? Yeah. I, I mean, we try and take the pressure off them. Um, when it comes down to it, as you get older, you'll learn it's just a game, you know. It, all you can do is come out here and give it your best effort. After that, you know, it's it, it, you know, either you can play the game or you can't. And we're gonna we're gonna get guys better and, and keep working and, and try and get them to relax. Where it feels like they're playing a high school game out here, not a game in, in professional baseball, not a game in the big leagues. I mean, the faster they can relax and let their skills take over, the better off they'll be. Do people have to be born hitters? Or can you teach somebody who may be a good athlete to be a hitter? You can teach a lot. There are a couple things you can't. You can't teach speed. You can't teach instincts. You know, those are, are something these guys are born with. You know, when you when you look at the really good ones, the Andrew Jones, the Jose Iglesias, and when you see hands like that, you just you don't really teach that that part of it. But I mean, you can you can see guys that have, have you know. Their arms improve, you know. Their their swing improves and stuff like that. But the little the, the feel for the game, it's hard to teach that. Hands the most important part of hitting. Hey, nah, I wouldn't say that. You, you want to hit the ball, but you hit from the ground up. You hit from your foundation. So if you get your foundation in the right spot, your hands will follow. I, I've got to ask. You know all this now about hitting. When you were 19 or 20 year old, did you know that and this stuff? Or do you, do you sit there thinking, why didn't I know that then? I, I say it time and time again, how come I didn't know this, but uh, as you get older, you, you get a lot wiser, you learn a lot more. Uh, I was, it was a privilege to play the game as long as I did. I played 16 years, my career was a, a back and forth career, but I always played the game hard, and that's one thing I want to teach, teach, teach the kids. I know in your first season in Atlanta, you had your first home run. How well do you remember that this, right now? Uh, it, I mean, it felt like just yesterday I was drafted, so it, it went by, <laughs> it was a blur, the whole thing was a blur, but I enjoyed it, and like I said, I played hard. George, a pleasure to talk with you. We wish you, we wish the spinners lots of luck. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Bob. That is George Lombard. You are watching Lowell Spinner Baseball.